Hey, once again, it's Robert with Cool Cool and Spa. Um, you know, I've had my YouTube channel up for uh, almost three years now, and I have, I've had my website for uh, about six, six or seven years, and I don't talk about politics, I don't talk about social issues, but there is an exception for every rule. Uh, what is going on today? Well, as you know, the Olympics are going on, uh, and the overriding theme, overriding story that's been happening you know, for the last few days is the green pool. Now, I've been uh, watching this for you know, the last couple of days and uh, just gathering some information, waiting for these press releases to come out to see what excuses people are, I'm sorry, what reasons people are giving uh, for the pool going green. Now, I have a theory uh, as to why the pool went green. Uh, green. I don't have the readings, <coughs> chemical numbers, and I don't have their filtration system. I will assume, presumably, that they're using a sand filter. Normally, um, large commercial pools like that, they opt for sand filters uh, rather than DE or cartridge filters. <coughs> now, uh, it's really been interesting uh, to watch what is happening with the uh, um, with the diving pool uh, because that is the first one that went green and then the water polo pool went green as well and I was looking at this and of course you know seeing it on t on TV and reading about it on the internet and I'm like oh holy crap this is, this is really bad this is a total complete embarrassment uh, for Brazil, for the, the Olympics, for the Olympic Committee, and everybody else involved. But like I said, I have a theory um, about why the pool went green, and I think it's pretty good. E even though with the lack of information that I have, again, not having their, specifically not having their readings, I can pretty much kind of look at the pool and maybe tell you what's going on. But first off, I wanted to give you uh, some some of these excuses for uh, certain reasons why they're saying that the, the pool went green. First off, of course, you know, is algae. <coughs> When you see a green pool, you know, they say it's algae. But the thing about that is this. They said that the pool went green very quickly. Okay. When you have an algae bloom, it normally, you know, it can take maybe two or three days to really develop. It first goes hazy, and then your pool can go cloudy, and then it can kind of get murky, and then it goes green. Okay. Um, many times you don't walk out on a Saturday morning at 8 o'clock and the pool is fine, you walk out at 10 o'clock and it's solid green, okay? It, it really can't happen like that if it's, <clears throat> if it's really an algae problem. I have, this, I have this stuff written down here. Uh, next is a high pH. Uh, maybe you've heard of, of that. The pH uh, rose too quickly and that was the proliferation of the algae, okay? Um, unfortunately, that really doesn't hold water. pH uh, can affect the effectiveness of the chlorine, but I have taken care of pools and I've seen pools that have had a slightly higher pH, 7.8, 8.0, 8.2, and the water is crystal clear. Um, next is they say they ran out of some chemicals. I really want to know what those some chemicals are. They're really not being too specific. <coughs> um, my favorite one is this, all right? Uh, it's the heat and lack of wind. Maybe you heard that one. Heat and lack of wind that caused this algae problem. Well, again, the problem with that is this. I live in Florida and it's been like, like 93, 95 degrees every single day. In Brazil, the highs are about the mid 70s. All right? Uh, so that we can take off the table. It's not the heat. And then lack of wind. That has nothing to do with it absolutely positively zero to do with anything the concerning this green pool um, so if lack of wind causes an algae problem then a windy condition would um, mean that you would have a green pool so that means that everyone living in Chicago would their pools would never go green right that's kind of the, that's kind of the reasoning that they're using 
um, Mario Andrade, I hope I'm saying his name right, said that it was the, the uh, quick drop in the alkalinity that caused the green water. Now, wait a minute. First you have a high pH problem, the pH went extremely high, then you have a sudden drop in the alkalinity according to Mario. Well, as a pool owner you probably know that you lower your alkalinity using muriatic acid, all right? But if you run out of muriatic acid, then you can't really lower the pH, but they ran out of some chemicals which they won't say. So, you know, as as any pool owner, you know, if you've had a pool for a year or more, you know that muriatic acid or dry acid, sodium bisulfate, will lower the pH and it lowers the alkalinity. So if you pump a lot of muriatic acid in to lower the alkalinity, you're, gonna, you're also going to lower the pH unless you offset that by using so, uh, uh, soda ash. I seriously doubt they're using any kind of, uh, you know, 20 mule team borax or Arm & Hammer washing soda. So let's assume that they're using something um, like soda ash. So they dump a lot of soda ash in there, it raises the alkalinity, then they dump a lot of muriatic acid, which would probably offset that soda ash being dumped in, into the pool, which would then lower the pH and lower the alkalinity. Uh, <clears throat> What I'm saying is this, these people, uh, in my opinion, have absolutely no idea what they're doing, okay? Here's my theory, all right, of why the pool went green. Now, I want you to look at this picture and just study it for a couple seconds. Here you go. Now, that's an aerial view of the, the uh, uh, Olympic pool, all right? Now, I want you to look at this picture. Good. Now look at this one. Now, one more, one more picture. Look at this one. Okay, so now you're saying, okay, great, you just showed me four pictures of green pools. Well, big deal. Well, it is a big deal if you know what you're looking for and if you know what you're looking at. All right. The first three pictures, you had the, the Olympic pool, and then the second picture was uh, Blaze's pool. Maybe you recognize that pool. On my website, I have Clean Pool and Spa up there, and in the, in the upper right-hand corner there um, is a picture of his pool, right? And then the third picture was a guy, his name was David, who lived out in California. <coughs> and then, obviously, that was the, the, the last picture was an above-ground pool. Um, that was green. Now the first three have something in common, right? They're all a clear emerald green. The last one was a gray, green, murky, grayish, greenish thing, okay? The first three that I believe <clears throat> have a copper problem. The last one didn't have a copper problem, a metal problem. That is an algae pool. You see, there's a difference in, in the look between um, a pool that has high metals and a pool that has, you know, maybe no chlorine or something else like that. And that is a proliferation of algae, to use their words. <clears throat> what I think happened is this. They... Um, ran out of chlorine, or maybe the chlorine was getting low, and they possibly overdosed with a copper algicide to offset the, the uh, um, low amount of chlorine. Okay, because see, what happens is you have a pool filled with, with a, um, well water or something like that has high copper and iron in it. If you add chlorine to it, that pool will go a clear emerald green. This is what happened with Blaze in Minnesota. He filled his pool, put two gallons of chlorine in there, and boom, his pool turned a clear emerald green. David overdosed on um, uh, copper algicide, and his pool went a clear emerald green. This is why I showed you the, uh, the Olympic pool from an aerial, aerial view, because you can see the lane lines there. Okay, you can see you can see all that, and so 
either they overdosed on a copper algaecide, um, they have metals in their water which, which uh, um, was not treated correctly, and then they added chlorine as their, as their sanitizer and oxidizer, and it turned the pool a clear emerald green. Now, how they're taking care of it is totally, completely wrong. The, the, the divers and uh, the, the other athletes that are doing the water polo in the other pool, they're complaining about the chlorine is so incredibly high, it's burning their eyes and their nose and their ears. They can't even see, you know, maybe they have goggles and they're trying to look underwater, uh, you know, or the synchronized swimming. They can't see each other uh, and it's really, bur you know, starting to, to itch, it's burning their eyes and all that stuff. They're trying to solve the problem with chlorine and it's, it's not working. They're, in my opinion, they're going in a completely opposite direction of how they're supposed to clear up this pool. And it's so incredibly simple. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on this. Um, I might make a follow-up video, but that's just my theory. Again, without the readings, it, again, it is just a theory, but I think it's the best theory out there. This is something that you're probably not. Okay, so my camera died. Uh, it said that my card was full. Didn't empty that out. I should have done that. But uh, this is something that you're probably not going to hear on the news. It's, it's not going to be reported. You heard it here first. So I'm just going to keep an eye on this. Um, I don't know where it cut off. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video on it. But if it comes out that it was metals and they're taking care of it, remember, you hear, you heard it here first from me, Clean Pool and Spa. Okay? From Robert from Clean Pool and Spa. So uh, go ahead and check out the description box below. Link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. Like, subscribe, and comment here. And uh, that's I think that's about it. So always be safe, happy swimming, and don't use a copper algaecide. Bye.